Can you tell us your name, your age, and what you do for a living? Sure, thank you. My name is Andrea Cox. I am 44, and I am a licensed and a fly pre planning consultant. Nice. And you're in Canada. I'm in Canada, yes. <laughs> This is beautiful. I love it. Just talk to someone that was in Sydney, Australia. So we're taking this thing around the globe. That's awesome. Your current relationship status. Happily divorced. Okay. Do you have children? I do not. Do you want children in the future? I'm 44. Um, <laughs> you might want to adopt, you know? I think I'll be, if it happens, it's fine. Do I want four, three? No, possibly one of my own, you know, if it happens, but maybe a mom tea might be better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why did your last relationship end? I... That's a good question. Um, really, probably shouldn't have started. You know, we were good friends. He was um, much older than me. Um, we probably shouldn't have went where we went. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't have much in common. Um, I, I totally did not put myself first at all. So I was more wanting to help him. You know, he was a single father and and dad. So I put me aside and put him first and um, it straight up shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Understood. What's a deal breaker for you? At this stage of my life, someone who wants children and does not have children. I know. Interesting answer, isn't it? <laughs> um, at my stage of my life, I don't, I don't feel like I got robbed. Like it doesn't bother me too much, but I want, I wouldn't want to rob somebody. I've more realized that I've learned, you know, having children for some people is not that easy. And it brings on a lot of stress and it breaks down a marriage. I've already had a broken marriage. I don't want to go into another one because of so I don't want to rob anybody. I don't, I've never been pregnant, so I don't. So that's huge for me. I've had to make a big decision um, uh, last year on something like that. And um, I don't want to go through that again. So, yeah. Understood. How do you handle difficult situations? Open communication, you know, um, I think the longer that something is hidden from somebody, the more difficult it gets. So open communication, just talking things over, being mature, understanding that, you know, the problem is in the middle where I'm not against you. you you're not against me. We're not going to fight. You know what I mean? Like the problem, like, let's just solve the problem together. Um, it seems so simple, but it doesn't end up being that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Totally. <laughs> So much I want to say about that, but for the sake of this conversation, we'll show fit. <laughs> okay. Why do you want to be married? You know, my first marriage, I had nothing positive, unfortunately, to say about it. I don't want to say anything bad about my ex. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a good experience. I just want to go again, right? And, you know, being, we got divorced last March like officially after we were separate for like eight years and um i'm just ready to you know i have a lot of love in me i'm 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 a super anti i love to give i i just want to be able to find my purpose partner we just kind of build just build together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well this is why we're doing this segment so we can you know make that good connection for you <laughs> okay right. So, Andrea, I want to go a little deeper. I have three questions that I want to ask. You ready? I'm ready. All right. When you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? Ooh. 
I have a twin brother and I don't remember being scared or anything like when I was young because I always had my brother. We did everything together. We went to school together. We had an older sister that's two years older. So we did everything together. So we had each other. So um, I can't even answer that. I'm sorry. No, not, no, no, there's no wrong answer. It was just two questions. But that's that's beautiful, though. Love it. Are you a saver or a spender? Is a spender the same as a giver? <laughs> That's probably why I need a disciplined, um, significant other in my life to be like, Andrea, you can't continue giving, giving, giving. Um, I say that I'm more in the middle. Mm -hmm. Need that support there. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Giving is a beautiful thing. Last question. What did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? So you mean like my parents, caregivers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. So my parents are 47, 48 years married mm. and um, maybe even a little bit more. Mm. My parents, even if they were going through, they were still there for each other. Like we grew up in a home that we do not keep malice. We don't know how to, you know, even if they had a, like a disagreement. My mom was still cooking for my dad. My dad was still driving my mom. You know what I mean? So that is powerful. And um, I'm growing up. I could see how that has been beneficial, uh, beneficial for me on a whole. Cause I just don't know how to keep malice. Right. And that's huge. Um, you know, my parents, even now, if you go in their room, they still cuddle each other at night. Like, I just think it's so sweet. And I think even with my siblings and I like we and I've never asked them it's almost like our, our part of our love language like you know the physical touch and like um and quality time so that is what we believe we got from our parents right so um what else did I learn from them I mean, if that's, yeah, if, if that's, if that's what you remember, that's what you remember. There's, yeah, there's no wrong answer. Yeah. Those would be my two names, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could go on and on. Right. But we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. No, I want to thank you so much for your time, Andrea, for uh, taking the time to be a guest and open the DMs and, you know, you never know who you get to meet. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you might find your spouse you might find a, a great friend who knows this is just all about making the connection so if I can For be sure. that bridge um, I'll be that bridge so thank you so much for being a guest again I appreciate you and your time no worries thank you